I'm so happy we're here together, Dad. This is amazing. Son, someday all of this will be yours. You're a billionaire son after all. <laughs> is that an alarm? Yes, and it's not good. Quick, let's get to the helicopter. Uh, what's happening? The yacht is going down. Move. Hold on, son. We're getting out of here. Wait, do you even know how to drive this thing? I'm a billionaire. I'll figure it out. Dad! I'm losing control. Eject! Eject! Watch out! Ah! Got a helicopter crash here. It exploded. I think everyone is dead. Oh, this is a shame. Looks brutal. <coughs> oh my gosh. Someone survived. Tad, Tad, where are you? Hey man, are you okay? No, no, I'm not okay. Okay, you've got to get checked out. You might have some serious injuries. No, wait, look, my dad, he's in there somewhere. Please, we gotta help him. Whoa, 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 hold up. You need to relax and wait for the emergency response team to get here. No, no, I need to find my father. I need to, ugh. Oh no, we have a cold blue. I need to get this kid to the hospital right away. Oh, man. Where am I? You're in the hospital. Ah! Dad, you're a ghost? What? No! I'm not dead! You're not? Liam, I'm a billionaire. Nothing can kill me. But the helicopter... Yeah, I crashed it. Oh, well. But you didn't hit the emergency eject button like I told you to. I was worried sick about you. I didn't even know that was a thing. I'm sorry. Well, you need to learn better if you want to survive as a billionaire. Look, I'm just glad that we're okay. Whoa! Malvin Rich Guy! You're a billionaire! Yeah, you think I don't know that? I want to make sure my son has every single test imaginable. I want to make sure he's safe. Already on it, sir. Liam is good to go. Look, I feel fine, Dad. I promise. Good. This should cover it then. Come on, Liam. We have to go buy ourselves a new helicopter. This helicopter crash is probably a major distraction for my employees. Hopefully, everything's going normally. No, I will take over the company in the meantime if he's dead. I don't care about his stupid... <coughs> oh, well, looks like we're good. Good to go. Um, I'll talk to you later. Also, Liam, I'm so glad you're both okay. I heard about the tragedy about the helicopter. Yes, Charlie, we're both fine. Thanks for staying here and holding down the fort. Funny, huh? You were acting like you were gonna run the place. Yes, well, I was just trying to do what I could for the company. Good! Now both of you can get out of my office and get to work. We have money to make here, people! Move it, let's go! Yes, sir. Hey, don't you ever make me look so stupid like that again in front of your dad. Got it? Back off, man! You were the one that did that to yourself. You know what? I don't like you. You're nothing but a spoiled little brat. I don't care what you think of me. Think whatever you want. I don't like you either. Or trust you. Not at all. I don't care what you think. I'm going to go far in this company. And you're not going to stand in my way. Whatever, man. Man, I'm hungry. I should see if Dad wants to grab some dinner tonight. Okay, Charlie. I like it. Sounds good. Thanks. What was that about? Charlie has an awesome idea about saving some money. Oh, did he, huh? What was his idea? He says we should turn everything over in the building to a cleaner energy source. Brilliant, huh? Wait, what? Liam, why would you be upset about that? It's gonna save us millions of dollars. That was my proposal. Charlie stole it from me. Eh, who cares? Either way, I'll be rich. <laughs> oh, don't take it so personal, son. It's just business. I don't know, Dad. I really don't trust Charlie at all. He's just an employee. He's ambitious, but he's fine. He saves me money, and I like that. Well, I'm not sure if that's actually true. Liam, listen to me. I've made a multi-billion dollar fortune. I know a lot of things, especially when it comes to business. And you're still learning. Yeah, all right, you're right. Of course I am. Now forget about Charlie. You are the heir to my empire, and you'll have nothing to worry about. So you keep saying. Oh, and by the way, do you want to have dinner tonight? Uh, I was thinking... Uh, hold on, I gotta take this. Melvin Rich Guy here! <laughs> Mr. President! Yeah! Hello, hello! Dude, this is so cool! Thanks for getting me into the movie premiere! Yeah, no worries, man! Tickets to these things are really expensive! Brendan, you're my best friend, it's no big deal, and I figured this would be fun! Well, thanks anyways. You know, you've always been a good friend to me too. Must be pretty cool to be a billionaire son, though. 
Yeah, it's all right. But like anything, it could be pretty challenging. Liam! Liam, rich guy! See what I mean? It must be so nice to be rich. Show us what it's like to be rich, dude! Uh, no, I'm good. No, thank you. Shut up! Do something crazy! Buy the movie theater! Buy the town! Ugh, look, Brendan, I have to go, man. Yeah, no worries. I'll catch you later. Well, this kind of sucks. I can't even enjoy a night out with my friend without getting followed by a bunch of weirdos. I know I'm super lucky to be a billionaire's son, but man, even though things can be weird sometimes, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Hey, you're coming with me. What the? Hey, knock it off, man. Get in the van. No, no, listen. Okay, just just, just take the car, okay? Do you want money? I can give you money. I want you to shut up. Ah! Hey! Uh <laughs> Someone! Get me out of here! <laughs> no one can hear you, you loser. But don't worry. I'll get you out of here for $500 million. $500 million? Have you lost your mind? I don't have that kind of money. Of course you do. You're a rich guy. I know you're a billionaire. No, my dad, he's a billionaire, not me. Well then, we need to convince your dad you're worth $500 million. I don't even know if my dad would spend that on me. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, wait. You're serious, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I am. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's pathetic. Your dad won't even come save you. Oh boy. Well, we'll find out soon enough. And if he doesn't save you, you can just rot in here all on your own. Hey, man, get me out of here. Stop. I can't believe this! How on earth did this happen? I'm not sure, sir. I think Liam is pretty irresponsible there, to be honest. I mean, he is the one that got kidnapped. It's not his fault! They just want my money, filthy criminals! Sir, 500 million dollars is too much money. But it's my son, Charlie! My only son and heir! I know, but maybe let them think on it. Think on it?! Are you insane?! I'm just looking out for your best interest, sir. Maybe they'll come down on their ransom price. I can take over Liam's responsibilities at the company while he's gone. Everything will be fine. Hmm, you might be right. We still need to run the business. Thank you for being here for me in this time of need. I don't know what I would do without you, Charlie. Of course, sir. If we can hold off for, say, a day or two, I might have a plan. Liam will be fine. Trust me. Very well. Just make sure my son gets home safely. I will, and thank you, sir. I think the plan might actually work. Good, it better. I want my money. You'll get your money. Just listen to me carefully. Oh man, I think it's been like a week now. My dad hasn't saved me yet. Does he love his money more than me? Well, we got no communication from your father. Looks like he's not paying the ransom. Please, look, this has to be a mistake. But it's not. <laughs> he probably doesn't love you. Shut it. I can't believe this. Well, I can. You kind of suck. Confirmed eyes on target. Engage the enemy. What the? Ah! Oh! Whoa, what's going on? We're here to save you, sir. Come with us. Target has been acquired. Baby Bird is coming home. I repeat, Baby Bird is coming home. Sir, we brought your son home nice and safe. Liam! Oh, thank goodness you're okay. I'm so glad you're home. Thank you, Bravo Leader. Well done. No problem, sir. All in a day's work. <laughs> son, you look terrible. Did they feed you? Those terrible trash criminals. I'll have the chef make something up for you. Dad, uh, I thought you weren't going to save me. What? Of course I was going to save you. What on earth made you think that? I don't know. I was there for a week. I was worried. I thought you'd choose money over me. Despite what you may think, you are the only thing in this world worth more to me than money. You really mean that, Dad? Of course I do. Why do you think I'd hire private security to rescue you? You're my son, Liam. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. It means a lot. There have been a couple changes at work that we need to discuss, but you should go and have some time and relax. Maybe by the beach. You've been through a lot. Changes at work? What do you mean? What happened? Don't worry about that now. Private jet will be waiting for you and your friend tomorrow. I'll see I'll see you back at work in about a week or so. All right. Thank you. Again, it means a lot to know that you care, Dad. 
Of course I care. I love you, son. Oh, sorry. Hold on. I gotta take this. Go for rich guy. What do you mean, best offer? That's trash. No, I need more money. Dude, you know, this is pretty cool that your dad rented out this whole place for us. Yeah, and I'm glad that security is around, honestly. Getting kidnapped sucked. I'm not gonna lie, I was worried about you, dude. Thanks, man. I was starting to get worried, too. I was trying to work with the police a lot to try and find you, but they didn't have the resources your dad does since, you know, he's a billionaire and all. Yeah, don't worry, man. It's all good. And it's gonna be so good to have you back at work. Charlie doing your job has been absolutely terrible. Wait, what? Charlie was doing my job? Yeah, you didn't know that? I thought your dad would have told you first thing. No, he didn't. Sorry, uh, I've got to get back home, man. Charlie cannot be trusted. Yeah, this is Liam. I need a helicopter. Now. Dad, what the heck is going on? When were you going to tell me that Charlie stole my job? He didn't steal your job. He's just doing it for you right now. Yeah, and I'm doing pretty good at it, too. <laughs> well, I have a feeling that you've had this plan, Charlie. That is nonsense. Charlie's working overtime to cover for you while you were out. Well, I was kidnapped, Dad. I wasn't just out of office. Well, still, the work must continue, and I have been working very hard. Yeah, working hard to steal my job. You're not tricking anyone. All right, I've had enough. You will always have a job here, Liam, obviously. This company's gonna be yours one day. But we need something that isn't so public so we can keep you safe. We only caught one of the kidnappers, and he confessed that he was working with another. This is ridiculous, Dad. Honestly, Liam, why do you care? You're rich. Go do something else. You don't have to work. That isn't the point, man. This is my family's legacy here, our empire, and I want to help build it. And you will. This is all just temporary until I can track down the person who kidnapped you. For now, just hang out and relax. Stay low, be quiet. Yeah, I mean, that's basically all you do all day anyway. You know nothing about me, Charlie, and I know you're up to something. And when I find out, you're done for. This is so cool, Liam. You get to throw out the first pitch of the game? Yeah, it is pretty cool. And I'm really sorry about what happened at work, dude. I tried to stop Charlie, but he outranks me. There's nothing I could really do. It's all right, man. Charlie, he's had my dad wrapped around his finger, and he doesn't even see it. Charlie sucks. What, you really think he would have been the one that kidnapped you? Well, I, I don't know. It, it seems crazy, but this guy's weird. It's hard to trust anyone when you're a billionaire, and I would not put it past him. Hey, you trust me, don't you? Yeah, man, of course I do. You're like a brother to me. Look, we've been friends since I was a little kid, all right? You really think I would think that you'd do that? You were there for me when I lost my mom. Of course I trust you. Well, thanks, man. That means a lot. Maybe I can try and see if I hear anything about Charlie. I'm not an executive like you guys are, but I might overhear something. Dude, honestly, that would be great. And maybe you should just talk to your dad, you know? Tell him how you feel. Everyone, cheer for our game guest of honor, billionaire Liam Rich Guy! Yeah, um, anyway, uh, time to throw the first pitch! Hey, Dad! Whoa, what are you doing? I'm trying to get better at sword fighting. What does it look like I'm doing? Right, uh, can we talk? About what? Can't this wait? You know what? No, it can't. I want to know what's really going on. Why are you getting so close with Charlie? Charlie's a good worker, and he's doing his job well. Why are you so upset about this? Because, Dad, I don't have a good feeling about him. I don't trust him at all. Well, I think Charlie is fine. You're probably just jealous that I'm hanging out with him more. I'm not jealous, okay? I'm concerned. This business is important to me. And you don't think it's important to me? That's not what I said. I built this empire from nothing. I think I have enough experience to know who I can trust and who I can't. And Charlie is someone that I can trust. If you have a problem with it, you're gonna have to get over it. Dad, okay, just listen to me. No, I will not listen to nonsense. End of conversation. I'm going back to practice my sword fighting. Leave me alone. Well, I'm glad at least you were smart enough not to get caught. Yeah, I am too. But look, the plan still fell apart. That's because you don't see the big picture here. I'm closer to the old man now than ever. I think I can take this whole company from him. 
All right, well, that's great, but what about the money now? We can steal some if we need it. I mean, he has so much money, he won't miss a couple hundred thousand missing. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> I'm in this for the money, dude. I really don't care. You need to think of the bigger picture here. Yeah, whatever. You really want his whole company, don't you? I do. If I can take that company, I can control a lot of things and make Liam broke. <laughs> what do you have against that rich guy's kid anyways? I hate him. I hate him because he was born rich. While I was born into a family that was broke, I worked hard for everything I have. Meanwhile, he just gets handed things left and right. I'm going to put an end to it. Liam sucks. All right, didn't think I was gonna unpack all of that. Uh, yeah, Liam sucks. I know, I just said that. Ugh, I think I have some ideas, and you better not mess this up. What on earth? No, no, this can't be. What is happening? Hey, Dad. Liam, did you withdraw $30 million last night? What? No, why? Because it's missing from our bank account, and it looks like it went to an account that you might own. Dad, come on. I wouldn't just take money from you. Well, somebody did! And I need to get to the bottom of this. This is ridiculous! Sir, I saw what happened. Do you really think Liam stole from you? No. Someone else took the money and moved it to cover it up. Well, sir, it seems more likely that Liam actually did steal it. He was mad about me taking the job. He didn't steal it, Charlie. I'm going down to the bank to figure this out with Liam right now. Very good, sir. I'll have your call ready. <laughs> good. The plan is in motion. Well, looks like you were right, sir. Seems as though someone set up a fake account. If you look closely, it says Liam Rich Idiot for the last name, not Rich Guy. See, I told you, Dad. I just had to make sure. Can I get the money back, Wilbert, or what? Normally, no. But since I can tell this is someone stealing from you, we'll send it back over to your account. <sighs> thank goodness, $30 million is like another yacht. <laughs> well, thank you for saving my money. Yeah, man, hey, thank you for the help. No problem, sir. The money should be refunded now. Ah, what a relief. You know, I was so worried we were gonna lose that money. That was a huge part of our fortune. Yeah, and I can't believe that you didn't trust me from the get-go. I do trust you, Liam. I just had to get to the bottom of this. It didn't make sense. Well, the answer's right in front of you, Dad. You just don't see it. Liam, come on, don't be like that. All right, gotta meet Brendan for dinner. I can't be late. They took back the money, idiot. We need to move to the next phase of the plan. Wait, th that's Charlie, and who's that other guy? Yeah, there he is. Yeah, I'm out of here. Hey, who was that? He looked pretty sketchy. Yeah, he was. Just some poor loser asking me for money, and I said no. <laughs> so that's what you're gonna go with, huh? Shut up, Liam. You think you're so cool and so smart, don't you? No, I don't think that at all. Let me tell you one thing. I'm going to run this company someday, and you'll be out on the streets and broke, watching from the sidelines. So I was right, huh? I knew you had it out for me. Of course I do. Why, man? What did I ever do to you? Because you have everything I want, and I don't have it. So, you're jealous. You don't know me at all, man. I also have a lot more responsibility than you do, too. Shut up! Bottom line is, your dad now likes me more than you, and I'm going to take over the company. I'd like to see you try. Then just watch me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a dinner to get to. Out of my way. 10,001? Huh! 10,002? Huh! Uh, wait. Hello? Is someone there? Liam, is that you? Huh. Guess not. That's where you're wrong, pal! Ah! <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> I knew that plan would work. <laughs> you're coming with me now. Dad! Uh, I'm home! Dad? Hey, what's going on? 
I don't know. Something doesn't feel right. Maybe your dad's just working late or something? No, my dad is usually doing his exercises from 8 to 10, and it's only 9. Oh, this isn't good. He's not here. Uh, why don't you just check your security cameras? Yeah, good idea. Wait, no, 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 no. The cameras, they've been shut off. Oh, no. Dude, I hate to say it, but your dad might have been kidnapped just like you. No, oh, this is Charlie. It has to be. I know he has something to do with all of this. I just know it. Yeah, this is Liam. Liam, rich guy? Look, my dad, he's missing. Exactly. And that is why I should be running the company in his absence. No, he shouldn't. Where were you earlier, Liam? You should have been here. No one told me about the meeting. Looks like I was the only one left out of the invite. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. He doesn't have any sense of responsibility whatsoever. What if he accidentally wasn't invited to a closing of a giant sale either? Charlie, you're the one that did this. I know it was you. Shut up. Let's take it to a vote. Those in favor of letting Charlie run the company until Melvin returns, say aye. 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 Huh. And there you go. Looks like this is my company now. <laughs> no, you won't get away with this. Well, according to the board, I already have. I know you have something to do with my dad disappearing, Charlie. Why don't you just go and pack your things and leave for the day? I think you're done here. I'm not done yet. Well, I am. Security, escort Mr. Rich Guy out of here immediately. This isn't over, man. Just remember that. Will somebody please get me out of here? This place is disgusting. Shut it, Rich Dude. There's no help coming this time. Rich Dude, I'm Melvin Rich Guy. What do you want, you fool? Money, is that it? Yeah, dude. We want everything, pal. We want your whole entire company, too. <laughs> yeah, all right. That's never going to happen. Oh, trust me. It's already happening. We have money already coming out of the account. So, it was you that stole the $30 million, wasn't it? Oh, wow. You actually do have a couple brain cells in there. Yeah. Except this time, you won't catch us. And it will be a lot more than that. <laughs> I'm good! Dude, things have been really different at work now. I can only imagine. Charlie's basically acting like he owns the whole company. Dude, I know he kidnapped my dad, but the police and the detectives are taking way too long to find him. I hate to say it, but if they don't find your dad soon, Charlie might do something really, really bad. Bad? Like what? Like steal all of the money, bankrupt the company, or fire everyone working there? That kind of bad. Yeah, I know. I want to do something, but he kicked me out of the building, and I can't go back in even if I wanted to. Well, maybe I could sneak you back in? No, Brandon, no way. I don't want to risk you losing your job like that. So what are you going to do? You know what? I'm going to go find my dad myself. I'm sorry, sir, but you can't do that. What do you mean I can't do that? How hard is it to take all of the money from this account and put it into my own? That's not how it works. Then tell me how it works. You need to have everybody on the board of trustees sign off on the transfer. I am the boss of this company. I'm taking ownership of it. So forget the board and do what I say. Again, sir, this isn't how it works. And there's nothing else I have to say to you. Oh, you suck. Have a nice day, sir. Whatever. Ugh. I need to move things along faster than I thought. That rich jerk, Melvin, is going to pay and give me everything I want. One way or another, I'm getting that fortune. Thanks for letting me in, Bigsby. And... Thanks for keeping this quiet. No problem, sir. Charlie's a total scumbag. I hate that guy. He's acting like he owns this place. We'll get it taken care of once my dad gets back. Please, uh, get him back soon, sir. I miss him a lot. Me too, Bigsby. Me too. There has to be something I could do. Or something that I can use to find out Charlie's plan and expose him. I'm really worried about my dad. I can't let anything happen to him. And then he said there was nothing he could do. Oh, great. He's here. I've got to hide. I know. What a loser, right? So, long story short, I can't transfer the money. I didn't know that's how things worked. Yeah, yeah, I know. But don't worry. This company will be mine. I mean, I stole it from that idiot rich guy. And soon, I'll have his fortune too. Maybe I should come down and pay the old man a visit. I have some questions I want to ask him.
Now's my time. I'm going to find my dad. You better give me your bank account passwords or else. Or else what? What are you gonna do, huh? The answer is no, and I'll be out of here soon enough. <laughs> I doubt it, sir. Charlie, thank goodness. Are you here to save me? Man, for a billionaire, you really are stupid. Yeah, this is my boss, you idiot. You, you betrayed me after everything I've done for you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I wanted this company and I'm taking it. And now I want your money. So you're going to tell me where it is now. I have no reason to tell you anything, you poor loser. Well, if you ever want to see your son again, you'll tell me now. What did you do to him? We have him kidnapped too, somewhere deep in the woods. And we'll feed him to the wolves if you don't pay us. You are pure evil, Charlie. So what? <laughs> now, let's start with the combination to your vault. Tell me now. Ugh, fine. I'll tell you the combination. What is Charlie hiding in here? Is it my dad? Hey, I need you guys down here right away. Here it is. <laughs> the rich guy vault. This is the moment I've been waiting for. The moment I deserve. <laughs> Time to get this stupid thing open. What's going on? Why won't it open? Ugh! Oh, uh, yes, boss? He lied to us. Find out what the real combination is. All right, yeah. Uh, hey, give me the real combination, you rich snob. That is the real one. He's at the decoy vault. <laughs> you think I'd be so naive? If you want to see your son again, then tell us where it is. Fine. It's at my mansion. It's not at the office. Did you hear that, boss? It's at the house. Yes, I heard it. Good work. Now stand by in case I run into more issues. All right, can you pick me a pizza up on the... No, actually, this could work out to my advantage. I might as well take everything I can at the mansion while I'm there. I just need to take care of Liam first. Good work on this, Liam. Thanks. You ready to save my dad? Yeah, I am. Hey, what the heck? Ah! That's what you get for messing with my family. Liam! You're free, sir. We have this place completely surrounded. About time. Do you have any idea what I had to go through? I was drinking tap water, not even bottled. What took so long? Look, it was hard to find you, Dad, okay? Are you all right? Do I look all right to you? <sighs> Sorry, I'm just stressed out. I, I am fine, Liam. I was wrong about Charlie the whole time. Yeah, I know. I've been telling you that. Well, now I believe you, and I believe it's time we take back what's rightfully ours. I'm with you, Dad. Look here. I've come into quite some money recently, and I want to find a way to take total control of this company. How much does it cost? Uh, sir, we can't do that. Yes, you can. Now give me this company, or there's going to be trouble for you and every other member of the board. Oh my gosh. Uh, sir, what are you doing here? What a surprise. What a relief. <laughs> Shut up. Look, um, I can explain. I, I was just... You were just being a criminal. You think you could just take something? from us because you think you deserve it? Well, guess what, man? You don't. I worked hard for this company, built it from nothing, and you want to come in here and think I owe it to you? Well, it's not fair. I want to be rich and powerful too. Liam doesn't deserve this. I do. Well, I told you that you were never going to take this company from us, and I meant it. Take this guy away. Okay, you're coming with me. What? No, no. Oh my gosh, we have a son! He's perfect. Let's name him Jack. Mayday, Mayday! The plane is going down! All right, you rich jerks, every man for himself! I love you, Joseph! I love you! Oh, Missy? Missy! Anybody! Jack, you made it! Son, your mother, she's gone. We still have each other. We'll make it through. We're billionaires, Jack. We'll find a way. Welcome home, Jack. Huh? It's Jerry's car. What is he doing here? Uh, Joe! What is the meaning of this, Jerry? Are you stealing from me? Brother, you're alive! Oh, I, uh, thought you were dead. I heard your plane went down. Tell me, what are you doing with that money? Taking some precautions. There are looters out there. Well, the fortune goes to baby Jack now. Hand over the money. It should be mine! I deserve it! I said drop the money. It's time for you to leave. Fine! Hope your dumb baby enjoys all your billions. Careful, my son. 
As a billionaire, can't trust anyone. Not even family. Dad, when are we leaving for vacation? I can't wait to go to Europe. Neither can I, Jack. But being a billionaire comes with certain responsibilities. We can't just drop everything and go on vacation whenever we want. There are important matters I have to attend to. Ugh, speaking of business. I I'm sorry, Jack. I need to take this call. Ugh, okay, Dad. Hey there, Jack. Hi. How do you know my name? Your dad sent me to pick you up. Come on, let's go. Oh, you must be the new driver then. Okay. Security, stop that man! Oh, great. Come on, kid. Yeah, ride. I don't think so, buddy. Uh, oh! Dad, who was that guy? Probably somebody after our money. People will always try to exploit us for our wealth. It's hard to trust anyone. That's why you can never leave my side. And you must never go with anyone unless I say it's okay. Got it? You're safe now. That's all that matters. Hey, Laura! Heard your family is the poorest in town. Must be tough being so broke. <laughs> Who cares, Tommy? Hey, Tommy, back off. Leave her alone. You're rich. You should hate her too. Money doesn't define who you are, Tommy. It's about how we treat people. I don't care how popular you are. I can still beat you up. Sir, is everything okay? Who's this guy? This is Chad McFarlane. He's my bodyguard. He used to be a soldier. Tommy has just been picking on Laura, Chad. I didn't think it was nice. That's not nice. You know I don't like bullies. I, I didn't mean it. Uh, so, 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 sorry, Laura. Uh, just, 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 just leave me alone. Thank you, Jack. That was really nice of you to stick up for me. Don't mention it, Laura. Friends look out for each other. I won't let anyone pick on you. Happy birthday, Jack. Are you having fun? Yeah, Dad. This is awesome. This is the best birthday party ever, Jack. I'm gonna get more cake. Yeah! Looks like Dennis is definitely having fun. Yeah, I think everyone is. You really didn't have to go all out on this. Well, it is your 15th birthday. Enjoy it to the fullest, son. I don't believe this. Joe, how could you spend so much money on some dumb kid's birthday? It's ridiculous. Glad you can make it to your nephew's party. You're throwing away our fortune. My fortune. Oh, yeah? Ah, this is what you're doing. Burning away the money. What the heck? No. Get out, Jerry. Leave and never come back. Gladly. I'm sorry. It looks like uh, all your gifts are gone. I don't care about the gifts. I just hate seeing you and Uncle Jerry fight over money again. You're right, Jack. I'm sorry about your uncle. But look, tomorrow we're going out on the yacht and we won't have a care in the world. Just don't worry about it. Ah, it feels really nice to get away. Just the two of us. Yeah, it does. I feel really lucky that we get to do this stuff. Couldn't be more prouder of the person you've become. 15 years old. You've grown into a remarkable young man. Thanks, Dad. I've learned everything from you. Well, you haven't learned everything yet. I still have plenty more to teach you. You're going to be the heir to the empire and the fortune one day. I just hope I can make you proud. I think you will, Jack. Uh, what was that? The yacht is sinking. Jack, we need to get you off the boat now. Uh, I'm not leaving you, Dad. We're going together. We don't have time. You need to get off the ship as fast as you can. Just swim. And remember, I love you. I love you. Ah! Uh, uh, Dad? Dad! No! I'm sorry, Dad. I, I just... I can't believe you're gone. You saved me, but... I lost you, and I'm gonna miss you so, so much. It's going to be okay, I promise. Thank you for being here, Laura. It, it means the world to me. Uncle Jerry? Come with me, Jack. We have matters to discuss. Fine. Uh, who is this? This is Mr. Thompson, our family lawyer. I'm sorry for your loss, Jack. Your father was a great man, but I'll be handling all the legal matters concerning your family estate and business. At my dad's funeral? Shouldn't we be focusing on him? Your father entrusted me with your well-being and the family's legacy. My dad said he was leaving everything to me. Well, kid, you're only 15. You're not an adult and you can't run an empire like this. But I'm here. I'll take care of everything until you come of age. I'll move into the mansion and look after you. I am your uncle after all. All you need to do is sign this document. It's to ensure the legal transfer of responsibilities. And let me guess, I don't really have a choice in this, do I? No, not really. Ugh, fine. Excellent. It's what your dad would have wanted. You're doing the right thing, Jack. Oh, come on. You beat me again? What can I say? I've got skills. Ugh, one more round. Let's go. Aw, oh, dude, let's do something else. 
Uh, oh, let's go check out your dad's awesome car collection. We can like pretend to drive them. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Let's go. I've never been in a BMW before. This is going to be sick. You have no idea what you've got here, man. These cars are like one of a kind. Hey, what's going on here, Uncle Jerry? I'm just taking care of some debts your father left behind. Have to sell these beauties off to settle something. You're selling my dad's car collection? Don't worry. Not all of them. I'm keeping the G-Wagon for myself. Those cars were my dad's pride and joy. He loved them, and he was going to give them to me. I'm in charge around here, and we're selling Time them. Time is money, and money is time. Are you selling these or not? Uh, yeah, fine. They're yours. Just take them. <laughs> so, how did I do for our first date? I hope it was good. It was perfect, Jack. I'm glad you finally asked me out. By the way, tomorrow is your 18th birthday, right? Aren't you excited? I am. Turning 18 means I can finally take charge of my dad's business. Just like I was meant to. I've been working hard at that company and I can't wait for the big promotion. I'm so proud of you, Jack. Your dad would be proud, too. You're growing into an amazing person. Uh, hey, uh, I'm sorry, sir, but your card, it's kind of, like, been declined. Declined? That's impossible. Th that's never happened before. Yeah, well, it seems like you're poor and stuff, and you can't afford this place after all, huh? Let me pay for it. Oh, now she's gonna step in and pay? Well, ha, fine. My entire account was closed? I don't get it. I had billions of dollars in that account. Where did it all go? Isn't your uncle on that account too? Maybe he's involved somehow. Something is not right here. He's coming back from his business trip tomorrow. I'll confront him then. Uncle Jerry? I thought you were on a business trip. I was. I was doing some serious business on the golf course in Hawaii. <laughs> well... It's my 18th birthday today, and... Oh, it is? Uh, happy birthday, Jeff, or whatever. Whatever, look, my accounts, they were closed. I need answers now. Why did that happen? It's not my fault. You probably spent all your money. No, they were closed by someone, and I'm pretty sure it was you. I was supposed to take ownership over everything, and now it feels like I'm just getting kicked out. You are an adult now. You can leave. What are you talking about? That wasn't the agreement. That's cute, Jack. The fact is, I don't care about your birthday or what you think is rightfully yours. I'm going to continue running the business. Everything in this mansion belongs to me. And it was all thanks to you when you signed that paper at your dad's funeral. And now I'm kicking you out. Security! Yes, sir. Escort this trash off the property. This isn't over. I'm so sorry, Dad. I, I lost everything. I know you meant for me to be your heir, but Uncle Jerry, he tricked me. I, I wish you were just here with me, and I feel like I've let you down. Jack, are you okay? I'm having the worst birthday ever. My uncle, he took everything from me, everything my dad left for me. I just, I feel so defeated. Your uncle is a total scumbag, but he didn't take away who you are. You're still an amazing person, and your dad knows that. Absolutely, dude. You're strong, and we believe in you. And you can stay with me until you get your own place. I appreciate that. I won't let this stop me. I'll find a way to get back everything that was taken from me. See, that's the spirit. Oh, Dennis, did, did you bring it? Oh, yeah. Ta-da! Thanks, guys. Happy birthday, Jack. Uncle Jerry may have kicked me out, but I still work for the family company, and he's not just gonna fire me for no reason. Uh, Chad, what's that? Are you leaving? No, you are. What? You've been fired, Jack. What? I, I didn't do anything. H how could this happen? Look, I'm just doing my job. I'm Chad McFarlane. It's what I do. Your uncle told me to pack your things and escort you off the property. Ugh, of course he did. Look, come with me. Chad, you've been my bodyguard my whole life. You're just gonna side with this guy? Why are you doing this? I'm sorry, Jack, but technically, I work for your uncle too. I told him not to do this, but he said if I don't follow his orders, he'd fire me. And I have a family to take care of. Little Chad McFarland Jr. needs a lot of diapers. I understand, Chad. It's not your fault, but I have to confront my uncle about this. I can't let him just get away with all of it. I'm sorry, but I have no choice. Uncle Jerry! You don't live here anymore! Get out! Get out? What, you just want me to get out of your life in general? How could you do this to me? I'm your nephew! Oh, please. Grow up and get over it. 
you may have control for now, but I won't let you keep what is rightfully mine. My dad would be disgusted by what you've become. Your dad is dead, Jack. His opinions no longer matter. I want my job back. I want everything back. Let me think about it. Mm, no. I can't believe I ever trusted you. And I will get the family fortune and everything back, even if I have to build it from the ground up. You can't stop me. I'm more like my dad than you think. I know this is a huge ask. I have all the knowledge and guidance from my dad on how to run a successful business, and I want us to start our own. What exactly are you thinking, Jack? Real estate, just like how my dad did it. It's a lucrative market, and I've learned from the best. With our combined skills and resources, we can make a fortune, and maybe, just maybe, we can buy my dad's business back. Dude, this is a lot of money I saved up. Are you sure about this? Look, it's a risk, but I'm confident in our abilities. We'll earn back that money and then some. Just trust me. Well, if you believe this is the right move, then count me in. I'll support you with everything I have. Your belief in me means the world. I love you. I love you too. Come on, Dennis. What do you say? Oh, uh, all right. I don't want to miss out on a fortune. Let's do this. I promise you guys, this is going to work. Yes, glad to do business with you. Thank you, uh, bye. Awesome, just sold my third property today. Jack, I just closed a deal on the new property downtown, and I have a feeling we're gonna make a fortune from it. That's fantastic, Laura. We're on a roll. I was just calculating our earnings. We've officially made our first million dollars. I couldn't have done this without the two of you. You believed in me and supported me every step of the way. What do you think you're doing, Jack? Really building a rival real estate company? How dare you? I'm just following in my father's footsteps. Your father may have built this empire, but it's mine now. You think you can challenge me? I'll buy you out right now. Well, I'm not selling. I'll give you $10 million to walk away right now. I don't think you understood me. I'm coming back for everything, Uncle Jerry. Everything that is rightfully mine. If that's what you want, prepare yourself, Jack. I'm going to destroy you. You called for me, sir? I need you to do something for me. I want you to ruin Jack's business. Sabotage all his business deals. Make it impossible for him to succeed. I'm sorry, Mr. Jerry, but I can't do that. It's unethical. I'm Chad McFarland. I'm a stand-up guy. You are useless to me, Chad McFartland. You can kiss your job goodbye. I won't compromise my principles for you. And I have had it up to here with you messing with Jack. You, Jerry, are a literal trash person. And Someday, this will catch up to you. I don't care. I'm a billionaire. Now get out of my sight. I think this property is perfect. I'm ready to buy it and sign the paperwork. Of course. Happy to do business with you. I used to work with your dad, and you remind me of him. Thanks. I actually get that. Clarence, my old friend. Jerry, what a surprise. It's an honor to have you here. Oh, my goodness. I heard my little nephew here is interested in this property. I'll buy it for double the price he's offering. I suppose I can make the deal happen for, for you. You're, you're a legend. Excellent. Now go make it happen. You think coming in here and throwing money around will stop me? You're wrong. Oh, dear Jack. No one can defeat me. We'll see about that. Jack! Chad? We don't have much time. I did some digging and I know the truth. And I know how to stop your uncle. Are you sure about this, Chad? I've seen enough to know. That contract you signed is the key to all of this. I know it. That's a Chad McFarland promise. You need to go in there and find it. Well, I can't just walk through the front door. The office is on the second floor, and you'll find the evidence you need there. Let's do this. I said I want to sell the house in Aspen and then buy the penthouse in New York. It's got to be here. Maybe over here? Uh, yes, here it is. Okay, I've got to get out of here. Yes, Jake, I'm thinking of selling the mansion too. Or maybe tearing it down and building a brand new one. No, he can't do that. Ugh, I'm running out of time. I sure hope this paper is the key. Uh, Mr. Anderson, I have something important to show you. This is the contract my uncle made me sign years ago. And I think it's the key to getting my fortune back. Very well, Jake. Let me take a look at it. 
And how old were you when you signed this? I was 15. So, what do you think? This contract is a fake. It's poorly made and the language is nonsensical. My uncle must have gone to great lengths to make it seem real then. How is this possible? And there is more. Contract was signed by you when you were only 15, making it completely null and void. You were not supposed to sign this in the first place. So you're saying I'm still CEO of the company and I'm the heir to my dad's fortune? Legally, you never lost your rights. You have every right to reclaim what's yours. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. I can't wait to tell the news to my uncle. Finally come to beg for forgiveness. Are you selling out to me now? I've done my research and I know the truth. What truth could you be talking about? You don't have the right to anything and I'm here to finally get back what's mine. Oh really? You signed everything over to me. The contract isn't valid, created by a fake lawyer, and I was only 15. I have every intention of proving all of this in court. The truth will come out and everything will be mine. Let's see this so-called fake contract. Fine, look. Good luck trying to take me to court, Jack, when I'm gone. Hey, get back here. You can try to catch me, but you won't succeed. Goodbye, Jack. <laughs> I won't give up. I'll find a way to expose your deceit and reclaim what is rightfully mine. Just you wait. Laura, this is the best day of my life. I can't believe we're finally married. I love you so much. And I love you, Jack. I'm so excited to spend the rest of our lives together and building a family. Building our family? Wait, you're not- Yes, Jack, I'm pregnant. You're gonna be a dad. Oh my goodness, that's incredible. We're gonna be parents, I, I couldn't be happier. Yo, dude. Dennis, uh, guess what? We're having a baby. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so happy for you guys. But um, speaking of family, what is he doing here? I thought you were gone. Oh, my dear nephew. I couldn't miss this special occasion. After all, family is so important isn't it? You're not welcome here. I thought you were gone for good. Oh, I may have disappeared for a while, but I left with plenty of hidden resources. I'm more powerful than you could ever imagine. It doesn't matter. I've already won. This battle is over. Oh, my dear boy. This is just the beginning. You may have achieved some victories, but I assure you there's much more in store for Dennis, what's going on? Why is there a cop here? Dude, someone vandalized our office last night. It's a mess in there. You all in this place? Well, you might want to come look at this. What the heck? This place is trashed. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. We received a report about some vandalism and I'm here to investigate. I got some leads, but nothing concrete yet. Leads? Who could have done this? Look, I can't tell you, but we're looking into it. I'm heading down to the police station to file a report, but I'd like you to come with me. I gotta ask you some questions. All right, officer, let's go. I wanna help out in any way that I can. Don't worry, dude. I'll take care of cleaning up the office while you're gone. We'll get everything back in working order. Thanks, Dennis. I appreciate you. Don't worry. We'll get through this. All right, someone here wants to talk to you. Follow me. What are you doing here, Jerry? Can't you just leave me alone? Oh, little Jack finally got himself into trouble, huh? I knew you were capable of doing this. All for the insurance money. What? I didn't do this. Oh, the poor victim blaming everyone but himself. Maybe I was right about your anger issues, Jack. It's clear you're unstable and unfit to run a business. All right, gentlemen, enough. Jack, I must admit, your uncle's claims are kind of suspicious. However, based on the evidence I gathered and the statements, seems as though his story holds true. You're the one that did this. Wait, what? You actually believe him? Why would I vandalize my own office? It's obviously a setup. I conduct thorough investigations to uncover the truth. But for now, I gotta put you under arrest so I can get more evidence. Arrest? I didn't do anything. Look, I understand your frustration, but we need to follow protocol. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. I won't let you get away with this, Jerry. <laughs> Laura, you're here. Jack, I want you to meet our daughter. This is Kelly. Oh my goodness, she's she's beautiful. I can't believe I missed her birth. I'm so sorry, Laura. I should have been there. It's okay. I know what's happening, and we'll get through this together. By the looks of things, it doesn't look good. Jerry planted evidence to make it look like I destroyed our own office. I know. 
I'm just scared, Laura. I don't know what's gonna happen to me. We'll always be waiting and supporting you. You're not alone in this. Thank you. I love you, Laura. And I love you. And together we can face whatever comes our way. Dick, it's time. Judge has your sentence and, uh, looks like you are going to jail. All right, Jack, you served your time. You're free to go. <sighs> Thank you. Jack! Laura! I've missed you so, so much. I've missed you too, but you're here now, and that's all that matters. Dad, it's really you. Kelly, my girl, my little girl, look at how much you've grown. I've waited for this moment for so long, Dad. Me too. 15 years. Come on, honey. Let's bring you home. Chad? Wow, it's good to see you. Good to see you too, Jack. Kelly, why don't you get the boys something to eat? Chad has something he wants to tell your father. Okay, Mom. Okay, what's going on? Jack, I've waited 15 years for this day. I got my private investigator license just to help you out. We're gonna take down your uncle once and for all. We can expose his deceit and get what's rightfully yours. Really? That's incredible. I thought you were tired though, and... What about your wife and Chad McFarland Jr.? Oh, Jr.'s all grown up now, and retirement doesn't suit me. I'm Chad McFarland, ready to serve justice. Jack, you've missed so much of Kelly's life. It's time for you to make up for it. She needs you, and you need this time with her. You're right, Laura. I need to be there for Kelly. Chad, I appreciate the offer, but maybe Laura's right. I should just focus on my family. I understand, Jack. You ever change your mind, I'll be here ready to help. You made the right choice with your family. Thank you. I'm grateful for everything you've done too, by the way. Let's focus on rebuilding our lives and creating a brighter future for our family. Jerry, what do you want? Jack, my boy! Glad you're out of prison. The prison you put me in? Oh, can't we just put all of this behind us? Water under the bridge, right? Water under the bridge? Jerry, the bridge is destroyed. Do you really think I would just forget what you've done? Ugh. I'm bored of this already. Let's move forward. I'm offering you a job at the family company. You can be a janitor or something. You said you always wanted to work there again, didn't you? No, I don't want anything from you. I don't want to be a part of your corrupt world or your life. I've built something of my own, something honest and true. You are making a big mistake, Jack. You have no idea what I'm capable of. If you don't play nice, things will get much worse for you and your precious family. Well, I won't let you intimidate me anymore. Stay away from my family, Jerry. They're off limits. This isn't over, Jack. And remember, I warned you. You made this yourself? Sure did. She's an incredible cook, honey. Our daughter's gonna be a five-star chef someday. Oh. Who could that be? Mr. Jack Thompson, I have some legal documents for you. Your house is being repossessed. What do you mean? We've always paid our mortgage on time. This just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, 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 whatever. I'm sorry, ma'am. The ownership of your property has been transferred to a, uh, Jerry Enterprises. It's out of my hands now. Jerry Enterprises? Seriously? All right, that's my cue. Dad, are we going to lose our home? You know what? I've changed my mind. We can't let your uncle take everything from us. You have to stop him. You're right, Laura. We can't let him win. I'll call Chad McFarlane. Hey, Jack, what's going on? Chad, we're in need of some help. Jerry is up to something. Can you find out where he is at right now? Of course. I've been monitoring all his activities. He's meeting with some business guy tonight. I think we should keep an eye on him and see what they're up to. Thank you, Chad. I'll be there soon. Wow. Jerry, I can't believe you went behind your nephew's back and repossessed his house. That's cold, even for you. <laughs> well, business is business. He should have known better than to trust me. I've been playing the game, my friend. Besides, he's nothing without me. But, uh, why? Why torture your own family like this? Chad? I'm already on it. Because that snot lose little brat was given everything by my stupid brother, and I deserved it. So I I did what I had to do. I stole the fortune, then the mansion, then trashed his business and got him arrested. Now that his family is going to be homeless, little Jack will have nowhere to go. <laughs> Revenge, my friend. It's best served cold. 
Jerry Thompson. Yeah, what do you want? You're under arrest for falsifying documents, engaging in extortion, and various other charges. You have the right to remain silent. Everything you said can't be used at will against you in a court of law. It's... This is a mistake! You can't do this! I'll see you in court, Uncle. It's time for you to face the consequences of your actions. The court will now hear the case of Jack Thompson versus Jerry Thompson. I hope you're ready for this, Jack. I'm not going down without a fight. Neither am I. After careful consideration and examination of the evidence presented, it's time to hear the closing statements. Mr. Jerry, do you have anything to say? This is just another tale of a penniless loser trying to take away a billionaire's wealth. Mr. Jack, your statement. Your Honor, this has been a long and hard journey for me. I have fought tirelessly to reclaim my father's empire, not just for the money, but for the justice and legacy that it represents. It's not about wealth. It's about righting the wrongs and honoring my father's memory. This man has done everything he could to ruin my life, all for his own gain. And I just want this to end. After thoroughly reviewing the case, I hereby rule in favor of Mr. Jack. The wealth and assets wrongfully taken from him will be returned immediately. No, this can't be happening. I finally got my father's money back. Everything's gonna be okay, Julia. All right, push. Okay. Ah! Here it is. Congratulations. Another billionaire born. This is amazing. This kid better grow up to be successful or I'm gonna be really upset. All right, everyone give me a billion dollars right now. I thought we bought this hospital. How did anyone know we're here? Just give me the money, man. Oh. Oh. About time, Kobe. What kind of bodyguard are you? You took forever. We need to get out of here. There may be more robbers. Colby, I want to walk from here. You can't do that, Billy. Aw, oh, come on. I don't want anyone at school to know I'm a billionaire. Get back here, Billy. Oh, thank goodness. I think a bodyguard can be such a pain. I just want people to treat me normally. I just want to fit in. Look, it's this stupid little rich boy. Just leave me alone. I'm just walking to school. Ah, the rich kid wants to fit in. Guess what? Everyone hates you, and you're a loser. Yeah, now give us all your money, rich boy. What? I don't have any. Yeah, right, billionaire. Hand it over. Ugh. Ah! Get back here. Oh, he thinks he's gonna hide. Yeah, he can't hide from us. You better get out of here now. Uh, we got better things to do anyway. Yeah, whatever. Maybe today someone will let me sit with them for lunch. Hey, uh, can I sit here? Ugh, no. You're a billionaire. You can't sit with us. What? Oh, come on. Who cares if I'm a billionaire? I do. Your stupid dad bought my dad's business and fired him. Get out of here, dude. Nobody wants to see you. Okay, jeez. Sorry to bother you. Hey, is there room for one more here? Yeah, sure. You're the billionaire kid? Ugh, yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, you can sit here. But first, can you buy me lunch and let me borrow one of your dad's Teslas? Are you kidding? No. I'm more than just a billionaire. I don't want to be around people who think I'm only cool for my money. Fine then, loser. Get the heck out Whatever, of my face. Man, I don't want to hang out with you anyway. I'd rather eat lunch alone than be around people who judge me like that. Uh, hi. Get out of my face! Your stupid dad took my parents' house and bulldozed it down because they missed one rent payment! You suck! Oh, that, that's messed up. I, I'm so sorry. I don't care! Get out of my face! Uh, I can't believe my parents are such jerks. I don't know why you always care about what those people think. We're rich! We don't need them! You should have gone to private school like I told you to! Ugh, Dad, I don't like those other rich kids. They're jerks! I just want to fit in and have friends. Normal well, friends. Well, good talk, Billy. Time's up. I need to get back to work. I heard you had a tough day, Billy. But you should listen to your father. Neither of you get it. We're living in a fantasy world. I want real experiences in the real world. <sighs> It's great, isn't it? You just have to get used to it. Our money isn't going anywhere. You have to understand how to act around others when you have so much success and power. But I don't want any of that. I just want a good life and a true, honest friendship. Stupid mansions always in my way. Sup, loser? Crying about being rich again? <laughs> Grow up, dude. Your brother Calvin is right, Billy. You should learn a thing or two from him. Learn what? Well, I heard that you hurt a lot of people, Dad. Kids at school were telling me how awful you treat people in business. Who cares? I'm rich and they're not. Of course they're gonna cry about it, stupid crybabies. They lost. Yeah, Dad, you tell them. This isn't the right way to be. We should be helping people with the money we have. I help people all the time. I give you, Calvin, and your mother money constantly. And I help myself by making more money. Oh, whatever. 
You guys suck. Pigs want to know on loser. Oh. Man, I'm hungry. I need to get something to eat. Please, I need this for my dad, but I can't afford it. Some jerk got his job taken away from him, and he can't pay for it either. Get lost. We don't do charity work here. Please. I said beat it. Here, uh, let me pay for it. <sighs> really? Wow. Thanks, man. Yeah, no sweat. Hey, uh, hey, wait. Uh, do you need any more money? You think I want your money? What? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I just, most people just want me around because I have money. Look, I work for my money, man. I don't want a handout. I'm sorry for being so harsh. Hey, I recognize you from school, don't I? Oh, uh, yeah, I know. Let me guess. You don't want to hang out with me just like everyone else. Trust me, I'm used to it. I don't get why you have such a bad rap. I mean, you never did anything. You know what? Thanks. A lot of people don't see that. They just see me like they see my parents. Do you want to hang out or something? Uh, yeah, sure. I, I just got to drop this off to my dad first. I I'm Tyler, by the way. Thanks, Tyler. I'm Billy. It's finally nice to actually meet you. It's not fair, you're so good. It's probably because you play all the time. Nah, that's just what we call skill. <laughs> Man, I haven't had this much fun in a long time. I'm glad you came out with me. Yeah, dude, this is awesome. So, what's it like being a billionaire anyway? Ugh, it's not everything it's cracked up to be. I struggle with my parents' expectations and everyone telling me how a billionaire is supposed to act. It's a huge pain. Yeah, trust me, I understand family struggles. My dad's been super tough to be around since he lost his job. His whole business, gone. But it's nice to get out of the house and get away every once in a while. Ugh, believe me, I know. No one really gives me the time of day because of my family. Billy, is this kid bothering you? <sighs> Colby, no, he's not. This is just Tyler. Who's this? Uh, one of my dad's friends. I'm his bodyguard. Bodyguard? Ugh, Colby, Leave me alone. Everything's fine. I'm just enjoying a night out with my friend. All right. I've got my eye on you. So don't go far. <sighs> Looks like I gotta go. He's gonna be annoying all night. Sorry about that, man. I'll talk to you later, Tyler. <laughs> yeah, no worries. I'll see you soon. Baby Bird is on his way back to the nest. Ugh, Colby, stop it. <sighs> man, what a fun night. My Ferrari is too ugly! Send me a new one for free! Oh, gosh, everyone is poor as an idiot! Hey, Calvin, that's not cool, man. What's your problem with our family, dude? I don't know, I'm just sick how we're treating people. Maybe we should use our money to do good stuff instead of making fun of others and using it just for ourselves. Whatever, who cares? Why do you care about being a good person? That's stupid and it doesn't matter. It's not stupid, you're wrong. The most important thing is relationships and friendships. I have plenty of friends. If I don't like them, I'll just get new ones. I don't appreciate your friends. You don't even value me as your brother. Honestly, because you're kind of a bummer, dude. Ugh, you're the worst, Calvin. Well, look who it is. Mr. Fancy Pants and all his cash. Hand over your money right now, rich boy. We double checked too. Your big dumb bodyguard's nowhere to be found. Back off, guys. I'm not giving you anything. Just leave Shut me alone. Shut up, you rich idiot. Give us your money now. Leave him alone, you two. <laughs> Why do you even care about this little rich boy, Tyler? This kid has everything in the world, and he should share it with us. Hey, man, don't judge me, okay? You don't know what my life is like. Just because my parents have money doesn't mean that everything is just perfect. Billy's a good kid, and he doesn't deserve the way you're treating him. You guys suck. Whatever. You two losers can be friends then. Let's go pick on Eugene. He's a nerd. <sighs> Thanks for sticking up for me, man. No one has ever done that, except Colby. He's paid to do it. Oh, well, that's what friends are for, Billy. Come on, let's get going. I cannot believe my ears right now. You're not attending the billionaire ball? Are you kidding me? You need to meet other billionaires your age, Billy. I have plans with my friend Tyler, Dad. I don't want to go to some stupid billionaire ball. You don't have time to hang out with poor people like Tyler. What do you even mean by that? He's not worthy of being your friend. You need to find rich friends. Well, Dad, what if I don't want to hang out with rich people? What if I just want to be normal and fit in? I've let this gone on for too long. Tomorrow, we're we're bonding together, and I will show you what it's like to be a real billionaire. I don't want to go with you. I don't care. It's time you learn how to act like a billionaire. And what I say goes around here. Now you're waking up tomorrow at 4 a.m. I said 4 a.m., Billy. Dad, what is this place? It's another one of my new businesses. I got this place for a steal because the guy who owned it was a complete idiot. Uh, that seems kind of messed up. Oh, shut up, Billy. Come on. See, look, that's the idiot right there, actually. <laughs> look at his face. You! You're the one who scammed me! No, I didn't. It's not my fault that you're not smarter. <laughs> uh, don't give me that. You lied in those documents. This is a crime. You did this, Billy? What? No, I didn't know. I had nothing to do with this. You suck. You're a liar. You took my dad's business! Ugh. Ah!
Come on, Tyler, let's just get out of here. Tyler, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. See, I told you this guy's an idiot. Glad you aren't hanging out with this dumb poor kid anymore. I don't believe this. You're ruining my life, and you're hurting other people, too. You're hurting my friends. This, this is complicated, son. It isn't when you treat people with respect. All right, all right, calm down. Let's go buy you some stuff to make you feel better. No, I don't want any more stuff. I just want a normal family, and I want my friend Ellie, back. get back here. Oh, man. I got to explain everything to Tyler. You just got to understand. What do you want? Tyler, please, just give me a second. I just want to be friends again. I had no idea my dad did that stuff to your dad. How could we ever be friends? Your family ruined my family's lives. I know, I I'm sorry about what my dad did, but that isn't who I am. I'm not like my family. You're part of that family, so you're just as responsible. I can't control my dad's actions, Tyler. I I'm trying to be a better person. A better person? Really? You think that's possible for you? Yes, I do. I want to be a good friend to you. I want to make things right. Ha ha ha. You can't fix what your family's done, Billy. It's too late. Please, Tyler, just give me a chance to prove uh, that I'm not like them. No, Billy. I was wrong about you. You deserve all the hate you get from people. Okay. That's how you feel. I understand. I'm sorry, Tyler. And then Tyler just slammed the door in my face, Mom. Oh, Billy. Tyler will never understand what it's like to be you. I just don't get it. Why is it so hard to have normal relationships? Well, you're not normal, and you'll never be the same as them. I don't want to be different. I just want to have friends who, who like me for who I am. Well, as punishment for the embarrassment you caused your father, I'm enrolling you into a private school for the wealthy. What? No, Mom, I, I don't want to go to that school. I don't want to be around those other billionaires. They're jerks. I don't care what you want, Billy. It's more important that you start acting the way you're supposed to. Oh, I don't want to be anything like this family! Well, that's too bad, because you're a part of this family whether you like it or not. I can't believe I have to go to this stupid school. This place is terrible. Wait, seriously, Billy? I thought this was a joke! Oh, who is this loser? This is my stupid brother. Oh, Calvin, shut up and leave me alone. I didn't want to go to this school anyway. Mom and Dad forced me to. Yeah, because you were acting like an idiot. Get this, Xavier. Billy hangs out with poor people. Oh, what? That's so gross. I know, right? It's like you're going to catch poor. Oh, I think he already did. He smells. Ew. Well, Calvin, real mature. Picking on your own brother. Yeah, whatever. Do you have any idea how it feels for me to have a stupid brother? We have, like, nothing in common. You're going to grow up to be a broke loser like your dumb friend. Hey, back off. I don't have time to deal with you, all you right? You thought you didn't fit in at poor Z school? Well, you don't fit in here at rich kid school either. You don't belong here. You don't belong anywhere. Oh, you know what? I'm not doing this. Yo, whatever. He's right. I don't belong here. I'm just gonna skit school. Is that my dad? He is the rest of it. Great. Did they catch on to you? Absolutely not. Dad? I do. What the heck? I told you to come alone. It's fine. He's just my son. Don't worry about it. I'm just an old friend of your dad's, but, but I gotta go. But yeah, see ya. See you later, Ted. Why aren't you in school? School sucks. I'm not going. Why are you being so sketchy? I'm not. That was Ted, an old friend of mine. Do you honestly think I believe that? Dad, you just gotta stop doing bad stuff like this. Look what you did to Tyler's dad. Who? My friend. You scammed him. He lost his business, and now you own it, and you fired him. Oh, right. That dumb loser. I didn't scam him, Billy. Ted. Please, just do the right thing for once and give him his job back. Uh, fine. As long as you never talk about this again, this conversation is so boring. Okay, deal. Hey, Tyler. Billy, what are you doing here? Listen, I know you hate me or whatever, but I just wanted to say I got your dad's job back if he wants it. Why would you do that? Because that's what friends do, man. You're the only person who ever gave me a chance and I just want us to be friends again. I'm sorry for the way that I acted. I know what your dad does is different from what you do. I don't blame you. I get why you acted that way. I just want to put it behind us. Oh, I think I can do that. Uh, sweet. So, do you want to lose at the arcade again? No way. You're going down this time, Billy. I've been practicing. Yeah, yeah. We'll see about that. Oh, man, 
Oh, my parents don't see me. If they knew I snuck out, I'll be dead. Well, we better not get caught. I just scammed that idiot for $100 million, and I don't care what he says. Make sure that loser's life is destroyed, and don't let it trace back to us. Got it? Ugh! Dad, I, I can't believe what I just heard. You heard nothing, you understand? No, I just can't ignore this. It's wrong, Dad. You're scamming people. This is how the world works. Billy, I'm doing what I have to. But you don't have to destroy people's lives in the process. I didn't do anything wrong. People have been doing this for years. And I don't need my own son judging me. Dad, you can't keep doing this. It's not right, and it's tearing our family apart. You're the only one that has a problem with it, Billy. Your mother has no idea, and Calvin actually loves the idea. Don't you think doing this shady business stuff is a bad thing? Enough! I don't want to hear another word about this. You stay out of my business and stop bothering me. Ugh, I can't believe you. I'm not going to be like my dad or my family. I just want to help people. And I know exactly how I'm going to do it. Hi, welcome to the homeless shelter. How can I help you today? Hi, uh, I'm here to drop something off. It's a donation. Oh my gosh, no one's ever donated that much money before. Oh yeah, don't mention it. Hold on, who are you? I have to give you credit for the donation. No one, just, just no one. So where'd you take that money, Billy? It's none of your business, Calvin. You're such a disgrace to the family. The way you act, it's like you're beneath us. No, Calvin. The way everyone in this family treats others with no respect is the real disgrace. You should all feel terrible. I actually feel great. Whatever. Your brother told me exactly what you did. You donated all that money to a homeless shelter? That was your allowance. You were supposed to go buy a new Apple Watch or something. I don't want an Apple Watch. Why does it matter? It's my money, right? You gave it to me in the first place. Our money isn't for those kinds of people. Wait, what? What's going Where on? Where is this bozo? There you are, ugly. You're under arrest. Arrest for what? I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, that's what they all say. All your years of scamming and fraud have finally caught up to you. You're going to jail. Dad, I told you. I told you it would catch up to you if you didn't do the right thing. Hey, kid, shut up and stop gloating. You're not taking me to jail. I don't belong there. I'm a billionaire. Oh, this idiot. Stop right there. Gosh, I hate running. Dad, just stop and face the consequences. Dad. Oh, after all I've been through, I ended up losing my job again. I can't believe how much your father has ruined my life. Tyler, I'm so sorry your dad lost his job again. I tried to do everything I could to keep the shop open. But until the investigation is over, it has to remain closed. I understand, Billy. Don't let my dad upset you. It's not your fault. I mean, really, it is your dad's fault. I just wish my dad knew he was doing such terrible things behind the scenes. Unfortunately, there's no way for you to make him see it either. There's nothing you can do, Billy. What's important is you're trying to make things right now. I just wish there was a way for me to give back to everyone my dad has hurt. I know I'll be able to make things right in the future. I just have to find a way. You will, Billy, and we'll figure it out together. I'm not going to let you do this alone. Thanks, Tyler. It means a lot to have your support. That's what friends are for. We'll get through this together. No, Mom! You don't understand. If Dad's going to jail, I should have his money. It's only fair. It's my money, too, you know. I'm not just giving it to you. Are you guys kidding? You're both terrible. Dad's going to jail, and all you can think about is yourselves and the money? Oh, look who's talking, Mr. Goody Two-Shoes. You think you're better than us? No, I just want this family to be about more than just money. You're just a disgrace to the family, Billy. Like, it's embarrassing to say that you're my brother. Well, yeah? I'd rather be an embarrassment than be like you. You don't even belong here. You don't deserve any of this. You always fight with dad constantly. You know what, Calvin? For once, you're right. I can't stay here with you guys. I'm out. Billy, wait. You can't just leave like this. Huh. Watch me. Just let him go, Mom. He sucks. I want the yacht. You had five minutes, Warren. Yeah, whatever. Dad, why did you call me here? I didn't think you want to see me after everything that happened. No matter what, Billy, you're still my son. Ugh, I've had some time to think about everything that's happened. It's being stuck in this stupid room they call a cell, and I truly regret what I did. What? Really? Of course. And that's why I've decided to leave you most of my money. What? No, Dad, I don't want the money. I know, and that's exactly why I'm leaving it to you. 
I'll be out of here soon. I've got a really good lawyer. And when I get out, I want my life to be better. I want to be a better person. Dad, that's great. I'll make things right. I promise. I love you, son, and I'll see you when I get out of jail. Can you believe they don't have bottled water here? I know, Dad, I know. I love you, too. Take care of yourself. I'm going to lose my mind! I can't believe you get all the money! It's not fair! I want my share, Billy! Calvin, get over it! I'm not giving you any of my portion! It's just not fair! Dad left you so much money! I need it to maintain my epic lifestyle! Buy yachts, designer clothes and shoes! That's not what Dad wanted us to do with the money! Who cares what Dad wants? He sucks! He's locked up and the money's ours now! Dad divided the money the way he thought he would be best for each of us! Come on, Billy! We can be like business partners! Continue the family business, you know? Oh, you mean the business that was scamming people, Calvin? I'm not gonna continue that. But we could be so rich together. Like, more rich than Dad. Like, we're smarter than Dad. I don't care. You don't deserve any of this money. And I won't help you scam more people to get more money. You're gonna regret not sharing the money with me, Billy. Just you wait. Whatever. I'm determined to use this money for good. I'm determined to tell you to shut up. All right. I have an idea on how we can give back to everyone my dad scammed. How are you going to do that? Well, I want to help them get their businesses back. I can invest in their businesses so they can reopen. I mean, that's a good idea, but how are you going to get them to trust you? I mean, it was your dad. I mean, look what happened to us. I'll be honest and open with them. I'll show them that I'm not the same person my dad is. Yeah, you're definitely not the same person as him. It's not going to be easy, but... I guess it's worth a shot. I mean, with the money, they can not only reopen, but probably have better businesses than before. Well, I've got your back, Billy. We'll do this together. Thanks, Tyler. I guess we're officially business partners now. Yeah, I never thought I'd be in business with you, but I'm glad we're doing something good. Me too. But we can make a real difference in people's lives, man. Let's start on it now. What's our next step? First, let's make a list of all the businesses my dad scammed, and then we'll start reaching out to them one by one. Sounds like a plan to me. Why did you bring us here after what your dad did to us? That guy is terrible. Yeah, he's the worst. What's the big idea? Look, I know what my dad did. I'm truly sorry for it. He left me a large amount of money before he went to jail, and, and I want to make things right. And how do you plan to do that? I want to invest in each of your businesses so you can restart them and rebuild your lives. Oh, really? Well, what's the catch? There's no catch. I just want to help you all get back on your feet. Yeah, right. This is probably just another scam from your pops. That's it. I'm out of here. I can't trust a word you guys are saying. You're all just a bunch of liars. No, no, no. Wait, I I'm serious. I really want to help you guys. Uh, you know what? I believe Billy. He's a good kid, despite everything his dad did. He's gone out of his way to make things right for me and my son. I'd be honored to have you invest in my business, Billy. Oh, really? Thank you. You won't regret it. Diddy, you really trust this guy? A hundred percent. If you trust him, guess I trust him too. Hey, 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 I'm not going to be the one who misses out on this opportunity. I promise you guys, this will be the best choice you've ever made. All right, my first house. It's not the biggest or the best, but, but it has an office, and it'll be a good place for me to focus on my new business. I don't need anything fancy. Oh, whoa, what the? Oh, this place sucks. Calvin? Billy, you shouldn't have wasted your money on this poor, ugly place. You should have given me the money. Uh, I already told you. I invested it. Yeah, well, I'm almost brick. I need more money. What? You spent a billion dollars already? How's that even possible? Easily. And it's not your business. Just give me the money, Billy. I can't help you, Calvin. I have a legitimate business to run now. Do you have any idea how dumb and boring you sound? I don't care about your stupid business. I need more money. Money. You know what? I don't have time for this. You need to figure things out on your own and quit being such a baby. Money, please. Money, please. No, you're not getting money, Calvin. <sighs> Whatever. This isn't over, Billy. I'll make sure of it. Oh, slow down! Shut up, idiot! Billy, it's so good to see you. Of course, Mom. Uh, what's going on? <sighs> it's Calvin. He's been spending all of his money and trying to steal mine. Oh, really? Well, that's a shame. I'm really worried about him. He's just so different now. Can you please keep an eye on him for me? <sighs> I'll try, but you know Calvin. He's not gonna listen. I know, but I just don't know what to do. It's okay, Mom. Maybe being broke will be good for him. Maybe you're right. I am proud of you, by the way. Really? Uh, I thought you'd be upset with me. This whole thing with your dad had me thinking, and <sighs> you were right. 
This isn't the way it should be. Look what all the money did to your brother. You're going to do great things, Billy, and build your wealth the right way. <sighs> Thanks, Mom. Now, tell me about this new business. There's my son, Dahad. I'm so happy you're finally out of prison. How was it? It sucked, Kelvin. But it's good to see you. Y'all, good to see you too. So I was thinking, now that you're out, you'll need some more money to get back on your feet, right? Well, I do have some money saved up. I'm not a complete idiot. Yeah, but that's not enough, Dad. You owe me. I mean, I was the one who was always there for you when you needed me. Not Mom. She was always off with her friends. And not Billy, because Billy sucks. What do you mean you were always there for me? You're only there for me for my money. What? That's not true, Dad. I was there for you all the time. Who went golfing with you? Who went to Cabo with you? Really? Then why didn't you come visit me once while I was in prison? Your mother and Billy certainly did, but you were nowhere to be found. I was just busy, Dad, but that's not the point. Look, I need money. You left too much to Billy and not enough to me, and that's not fair. I'm your favorite son. Kelvin, I left the money to Billy because he's different. He wants to make things right. Make things right? What are you even saying about, Dad? We're billionaires. We don't need to make things right. Everything is right when we have money. We can do whatever we want. That is not the kind of life I wanted for you, Calvin. I wanted you better than what I was. Oh, gosh. Please, Dad, spare me the lecture. I fell asleep during college. You know that. This is so stupid. I'm out of here. Have fun walking home from jail, loser. Calvin! Calvin! So, Dad, uh, what do you think of my business? I am so proud of you. All the good that you've done while I was gone, very impressive. Hey, hey! Oh, hey! That's for everything you did to me, you jerk! Hey, hey, break it up! My dad isn't the same person he was when you went to jail. No, it's okay, Billy. I definitely deserved that. I was a complete jerk to this guy. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'm gonna make it up to you. Yeah, whatever you say, jerk. Your son Billy here, however, he's a good guy. You could learn from him. You know, that guy's right. Probably could. So tell me, have you seen your brother lately? Well, actually, I haven't. But I know he's not doing well since he ran out of money. I know most of this is my fault. I made Calvin the way he is. We're forcing the billionaire lifestyle on him. I'm glad you never bought into it, though. Hey, it's okay. There's still time for us to make things right with Calvin. I sure hope so. Your brother definitely needs some help. Oh, look at this place. Poorzy Billy living in a poorzy house. Hey, to here. Whatever, I just hope he's not watching me. If he's not gonna share any of the money with me, I'm just gonna take it. I mean, I deserve this money. Oh, there it is. Hi, money, did you miss me? <laughs> of course you did. What? The, the cops? What the heck? No! Come out with your hands up, you idiot! We know you're robbing this house! Oh, what am I gonna do? I'll just get out the back door. What? No one was watching the back door? Do I work with idiots? Ah, we gotta catch this loser. Come on, let's go! Look, Dad, there he is. Come on, let's go get him. Hey, Siri, get this stupid yacht moving. I didn't quite get that. Oh, you're the worst! Calvin, stop. All this isn't worth the money. You need to listen to your brother. I don't care what you two losers say to me, okay? I'm a billionaire, and I'm never gonna give that up for anything. Money is everything to me. Yeah, and it's everything to me, too. You're under arrest, idiot. What do you mean we're gonna give away all of our parents' money? There's no way! Mom and Dad wanted their billions to go to charity, so that's what we're gonna do, Clyde. It's billions of dollars! We deserve that money! Not some random people, Nick! Clyde, you're acting like a spoiled brat. This is what Mom and Dad wanted, and I'm the older brother, so I make the call. Well, you know what? You do what you want, but I'm getting that money! You're seriously worried about money? Get back here! No! Leave me alone! This is what Mom and Dad wanted! Clyde, stop! Where are you going? I'm taking what's rightfully mine! Clyde, it was Mom and Dad's last wishes. Don't you want to respect them? We're giving this money away. No! This is this mine! This is our family fortune. It's not just yours. Well, there's two of us left, so I get half of it. Are you seriously it. acting like this right now? You take all you of know it? What? Fine, but Mom and Dad wanted us to earn our own money, and they wanted us to help people who needed yeah, it. Yeah, what about me? I need it! Look, you can have the other vault and give it all away if you want to, but this one, this one's all mine! Hey, put that baseball back! Get out! Mom, Dad, I am so sorry. I can't believe Clyde is acting like this. I miss you both so much. Clyde's a total mess. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hey, uh, hey, kid, are, are 
are you doing okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, just going through a lot right now. Well, my name's Barry. What's yours? Uh, I'm Nick. So if you don't mind me asking, uh, what's got you down? I just lost my mom and dad. My brother's being a total jerk. It feels like my family's falling apart. I'm just feeling really lost. Oh man, well, uh, I hate to say it, but I also know that feeling. You do? Sure thing. I lost my entire family. Came here with no money. No one's ever given me a chance. So I've been out on the street ever since. Well... Barry, what if someone gave you a chance right now? What? What are you talking about? Well, I'd love to help you out. I have a ton of money that you can have. Do you want me to buy you a house? What? Really? Why would you do that? This has got to be a joke, right? No, it's not a joke. You seem like a really good person. Plenty of people saw me break down out here. No one cared. No one asked me if I was okay. No one except for you. My mom and dad passed away, and it was their last wishes to spend their fortune to help people. And that's what I'm going to do. I had to give these billions of dollars away anyway, so I'm going to buy you a house. What do you say? Uh, I can't believe it. This is the best day of my life. Thank you so much. Of course, Barry. Thank you. Wow, I can't believe this is the last time I'm actually going to be in this house. All those years, all those memories. But I can still hold on to them wherever I go. Goodbye, Mansion. It was fun while it lasted. Nick, what do you think you're doing? You know exactly what I'm doing, Clyde. I'm giving the house away. What? What do you mean you're just giving this house away? I'm giving it to charity like mom and dad wanted. I'm signing the papers over tomorrow. And we're going to give away all the rest of the billions, too. You are such a loser. I cannot believe you. Clyde, I can't believe you're the one that's acting like this. You can find a way to be a billionaire again. Right now, we're supposed to be helping people like mom and dad Helping people like mom and dad as. Do you realize how stupid you sound right now? If you give away any of my stuff, I'm going to lose my mind. Nick, all you've cared about is money and buying stuff. Aren't you sad that mom and dad died? Don't you care at of all? Of course I care, but money makes me feel a whole lot better. Why do you want me to be sad? Clyde, I don't want you to be sad. I want you to stop acting like a jerk. Well, at least I'm a rich jerk. You know what? I've had enough of this house. It's old and it sucks anyway. Later, loser. Clyde, don't be like this. Thank you so much for taking the time to meet me, Mr. Mayor. Oh, Nick, not at all. Of course, I'm uh, really sorry about the loss of your parents. They were a huge part of our community. And that's kind of why I'm here. I want to donate a billion dollars to the city. A, a billion dollars? <laughs> no way. This Is this some kind of rich kid prank? No, sir, I mean it. That's a lot of money, Nick. A billion dollars? Yeah, I have to give up all of the money and all the stuff that my parents left me to try and help others. That could really benefit the city. This is such a nice thing that you're doing. Well, it was really my parents' wish, but it feels nice doing it. I'm sorry I can't give you more, though. My brother's being really stubborn and won't give up any of the rest of his money. But I hope the money I give will help people in town. That's really what I want. Trust me, it will. So what are your plans, Nick? Well, I'm going to have to give everything up and start from nothing. I'll find a way to earn some money and go from there. I'm sure you'll figure something out. You are extremely intelligent, just like your mother, and bold like your father. Well, thanks, Mr. Mayor. That's really kind of you to say. Thanks again, Nick. Incredible work. Well, this is my first night without a home. I don't really know where I'm going to go. I have to admit, this is a really terrible feeling to have. But there are some people that have to struggle like this every single day. Really took advantage of having a nice house for granted. Hey, you don't belong here. What? It's from the way you look, your fancy haircut, your nice clean clothes. You don't belong here. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll leave. Oh, no, no. You're not going anywhere. I know you got some money. Hand it over. I don't have any money. You are lying to No, me. I'm not. I gave up all of my money. I have nothing you know left. You know I don't like liars. But you know what I don't like more? Rich liars. Oh, oh. You better have money the next time I see you, or else I'll punch you again. You got it? Well, I basically got uh, no sleep. The park bench wasn't comfortable at all, and then it got cold last night. But that's over and done with. Today is a new day, and uh, I need to get a job. I've worked in my dad's company before. I know I've got some skills. Maybe this office is hiring. Worth a shot. Um, excuse me, sir? Yeah, uh, can I help you? Yeah, I was actually looking for a job. I'm wondering if you guys are hiring. That, you're kidding, right? No, not at all. I have had a ton of leadership experience, and I think it could bring your company to the next level. Huh, well, funny story, because I saw you sleeping in the park on my morning walk. Kind of a long story. Well, I'd love to hear it. Well, I used to be a billionaire. My family had a whole lot of money, but they passed away, and I had to give it all well, up. Well, I think you're a liar. Sir, I'm definitely not a liar. Just had to sleep in the park for one night, that's You're all. You're just a homeless idiot. Don't try to fool anyone. Get out of here. Well, if someone won't hire me, guess I'll have to start my own company. 
Man, I really wish I had some new clothes. I've got to go to a really important meeting. This could change everything. Uh, what am I going to do? Unbelievable, Nick. Clyde, what are you doing here? I was looking for you, and I can't believe I found you looking like this. You're a mess. It just hasn't been an easy start for me, Clyde. Sorry. I can't believe you're living like this. You're above this. Above this? Clyde, I'm not above or below anybody else. Money doesn't matter, and I don't have some right now, so this is what I have to yeah, do. Well, you look like an idiot. It doesn't matter, Clyde. I want to earn my money and make mom and dad proud. You really think you can do it? You think you can become a billionaire all by yourself? Of course I can. But you'll never do it. You ruined your life. And look at me. My life is way more awesome. If you think having a whole lot of material things makes your life awesome, then so be it. But I think you should have honored mom and dad and done what they wanted. Well, you did what mom and dad asked you to do. And look where it got you. What are you even going to do now? I'm going to start investing in real estate the way dad taught me. <laughs> With what money? I've been working and saving my money. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. Where? Where have you been working? I've been working on some construction sites so I can learn more about real estate, actually. It's been really beneficial. You are an embarrassment. You know what? I can't even be seen talking to well, you. Well, it was really nice to see you, Claude. Uh-huh. Yeah, it is nice to see me. Wish I could say the same about you. Please, Mayor Bloomfield, I need your help. I want to purchase a big lot of land. A big lot of land? Nick, seriously? I'm not joking, sir. This is what I want to do. Nick, you know that land is worth a lot of money, right? We're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yes, and I've saved enough money for a down payment. I can get this started. Saved enough money? I hate to ask, but Nick, how? I know you've been living in the park. And I mean, I'm sorry, but look at you. How could you have that kind of money? Well, yes, I have been living in the park. I've been eating the cheapest food I can find and trying to save everything I have, every single dime to do this project. I can't believe it. You gave up your entire life, a life of comfort and luxury for this. And now you're going to build yourself back up again and build a project to give back? That's my goal. That's what I want to do. Wow, if you keep working hard and become a billionaire again, imagine all the lives you can change. I think it would make my mom and dad proud. I know it will. I'll approve the loan for you. I'm more than willing to help you get this project on its feet. I can't believe this. It's been six months and all of these homes are finally complete. And I did this all on my own too. Well, with a little bit of the mayor's help, he does know a whole lot of people. But now, now the first step of the project is done. I've got to work on the next. Dick, is that you? Whoa, Barry, I can't believe it. You look incredible, man. It, it's been so long. It has been quite a long time and wow, did you do all this? Yeah, I did. Worked super hard and got all these houses built myself. And now I've got to affordably sell these houses to people who really need them. You know, Nick, because of your kindness, you changed my life. Well, Barry, you needed help. And I'm just glad I could be the one to help you. Well, because of that kindness, I want to do the same for someone else. I want to buy every single house here and give it to people who need them. Barry, really? That would be incredible. Nick, I just really needed someone to give me a chance and you did. And now look, you're the one that's really helping me. All of these houses, they might be a little bit expensive, Barry. Well, because of you, I was able to invest the money that you gave me. And now I'm a billionaire. You are? Oh man, that's incredible. I'm so glad I was able to help you and give you that opportunity. Well, now it's time for me to pass it on, just like you did. This much money all at once? I'll be able to keep investing in more properties and keep this ball rolling. Well, if there's anything I can do to help, count me in. Thanks a lot, Barry. Man, this feels incredible. No wonder why my family wanted me to start giving back to people. And I think everything's just about moved in. Man, this is awesome. I'm finally living in a nice house. And I've got to say, this feels so much better now that I've earned it. Turning the key to this place, walking in for the first time, I almost cried. I really appreciate all this money now, more than ever. Wow, yeah, great place, Nick. Clyde, what are you doing here? I'm here to talk. Nick, I'm going broke. Okay, I'm sorry? Yeah, you should be. Well, maybe you shouldn't have been so bad with your money. How much money did you spend yesterday? $20,000. No, that doesn't even matter. Just shut up. You need to give me money right now. What? give you money? Yeah, no way, Clyde. What? You did not just say no to yeah, me. Yeah, I did. And I'm going to say it again. No. Why? Why are you saying no? It's not my fault you're blowing through your money. Well, you gave away billions before, so why not now? Because you don't deserve it, Clyde. What? You did not just say that. You had a chance and you blew it. If you did what mom and dad asked, you would have learned what it takes to keep money, not just spend it. You don't know what you're talking about. If you're not going to give me money, I'm going to make my own then. I really want you to. That's what mom and dad wanted, Clyde. Shut up! 
So, Mr. Mayor, what do you think? I think this is extremely impressive, Nick. You know, you've done some amazing things here. I can't believe you became a billionaire again in like a year and a half. Yeah, it took a whole lot of hard work. I'm actually proud of myself. I was able to make it work. Hey, I know you. And wait, I know you too. Didn't I kick you out of here before? You did what? Excuse me? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't worry, Mr. Mayor. Not you. Just this homeless idiot. Really? A homeless idiot? <laughs> That's funny. What? What's so funny about it? Well, actually, this homeless idiot just bought the building that your business is in. That's right, he did. No way. This, this, you're joking again. No, I'm serious. And actually, I'm going to be the one kicking you out this time. What? Yeah, I don't want people with bad attitudes renting office space in my buildings. I think that's a new rule going forward. And I think that's a great rule, Nick. You know, the whole world needs to be a whole lot kinder to each other. Uh, I can't believe this. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're out of here. Maybe you should learn how to treat people better. Ugh, dinner with the mayor was so awesome. Man, that steak was incredible, too. Spare change? Anybody? What? No way. I wish you didn't have to see me like this. What happened to you? What happened was that... You were right. I blew all the money. I didn't realize how much I had left, and now I've got no way to make more. You know exactly how to make more money. Mom and Dad did raise us right. They taught us about hard work, and you need to respect how hard people work in order to have things. Yeah, well, I know that now. I just can't believe I was such an idiot. You were kind of acting like a spoiled brat. I told you that. You just didn't listen. I know I didn't. I didn't do what our parents wanted either. I just feel so ashamed. You think you've learned your lesson? I mean, look at me. I'm begging out on the street. What if someone gave you a chance? Yeah, like anyone would do that. Do you want a job or not? Really? You're starting from the bottom. Probably going to give you a janitor position. It's not going to be easy, but you're going to work your way up just like I did. What do you say? Okay, I'm in. Everyone is so excited for the birth of the brand new billionaire. Oh my gosh, don't you think he's beautiful? I think we should name him Bobby. I think that's perfect. Now come on, dear. You can't keep the public waiting. Oh my goodness, and here they are right now. Greg and Judy Weston, tell us, how do you guys feel? We feel incredible, and we want to announce the heir to the Weston fortune. Ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Weston. That baby's so rich. I wish I was a Weston. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Can I get a picture? You heard it here first, folks. This baby has been born into billions. You're going down, Bobby. You're gonna get so wrecked right now, dude. That's what you guys think. Watch this. <laughs> what? No. Oh, man. All right, you win. Man, you're so good. Nah, he just got lucky. We'll get him next time. Mr. Bobby, it's time for you to get ready. <sighs> Really? Yes, you know your family wants you to show up at the annual scavenger hunt with all the other rich families. Oh, well, can my friends play? It's actually time for your friends to go. They are not invited. I don't want to do the scavenger hunt, and I don't want my friends to leave. I'm sorry, Mr. Bobby, but rules are rules. It's okay, Bobby. Yeah, come on, Nick. Let's just go. Guys, wait, no. Now, come on, Mr. Bobby. Put on your tuxedo. Let's get going. Dad, what are we doing here? This place sucks. Boys, we're here because this private island now belongs to the family. But more specifically, this belongs to you, Bobby. Congratulations. It belongs to me? What's wrong? You don't want your own private island? I mean, all the Westons have their own islands. No, Dad. I really don't want my own island. Well, if he doesn't want it, I'll take it. Bobby, what has gotten into you? Anybody would kill to have their own private island. That's the thing, Dad. Not everybody wants an island. I certainly don't. This was supposed to be a stepping stone for you. Because eventually, you're taking over the family business. He's what? Of course he is. He's the older brother. But that's not fair. Why don't you ever ask what I want to do? I don't want to take over the business. You are a Weston. You're a billionaire. This is what we do. Yeah, well, it's not what I want to do. You know what? I'm out of here. Man, I can't believe it. Soon I'm going to be graduating school. I know, that's crazy. What was your major again? Programming. Once I graduate, I just sure I hope find a job. Nah, you're one of the smartest guys I know. You'll find a job, no problem. And what are you going to do? According to my dad, he wants me to run the family business. Well, it doesn't sound like you really want to do that. No, I don't. 
I just want to live a quiet and peaceful life. Quiet and peaceful life? You're Bobby Weston. Everybody knows who you are. Oh my gosh, Bobby Weston. Can I get a selfie with you? Yeah, sure, I guess. Awesome, man. So cool. Thanks. Say, how did you get so rich anyways? And what's your favorite thing to spend money on? Well, it was my dad who got rich, not me. And I don't really like spending money all that much. You can't be serious. You're a billionaire. I'm not just a billionaire, you know. I'm an actual person. Yeah, you're an actual person that's clearly a spoiled brat. What? What are you talking about? Whatever, this is so lame. You're just rich because of your dad's money? What a loser. Whoa, that guy was a jerk. Just ignore him, Bobby. What if being Bobby Weston is all that I've got? I want to be known for more than just being a Weston. Start, you stupid thing! Ben? What's going on? Are you okay? I'm just frustrated. This stupid video game is having issues. I'm just gonna throw it away. No, don't throw it away. Here, let me try to fix it. What do you know about fixing video games? Just, just let me give it a shot, okay? All right, Ben. Here, give it a try now. Whoa, sick. It actually turned on. What did you even do? Dude, you are such a nerd. Really, dude? Come on. Yeah, you're such a nerd. You could probably make your own video game. Make my own video game? Whoa, I've never even thought about that. That'd be really cool. Boys, thank you for coming into my office today. I need to have a serious conversation with the both of you. Actually, Dad, I need to talk with you too. Yeah, that's great. We'll talk about that after. Look, I really need your help running the business, okay? We're gonna start launching other companies and I'm gonna need the both of you on board. Well, that's exactly what I wanted to talk to you about, Dad. All right, so which company are you gonna take? The shipping company or the car travel service? That's not what I mean. I've got an idea. Oh, he's got an idea, Dad. I wanted to create my own video game. <laughs> You're, you're joking, right? No, I'm not kidding. That's absolutely ridiculous, Bobby. There's no money in video games. What are you talking about? Of course there are. You are extremely intelligent. You need to use that brain to improve the family business. We have a five-year plan. We're going to be a trillion dollar company. It's going to be incredible. Why wouldn't you want to be a part of the family business? Dad, you're just not listening to me. I don't want to run your business. You are the heir. It's your duty. Well, if he doesn't want to do it, I will. Shut up, Ben. I'm a Weston too. Bobby is the older brother, so everything goes to him first. It's his destiny to run this company. No, it's not. You're just not listening to me. I'm out of here. That's the whole idea. An open world RPG and a shooter. Well, it sounds like a whole lot of fun. I'd definitely play it. It's an awesome idea, Bobby. You need to pursue this. You think so? My dad certainly doesn't. Your dad's old school, man. He's used to running his company his way. Yeah, he thinks it's my destiny to take over the company. I don't want any part of it. You need to be in charge of your own destiny and choose what you want to do. Of course, I totally agree with you. You know you need to prove your dad wrong. Of course I do. I am going to make this game. I'll prove him wrong for sure. Well, you're gonna need some help doing it. Do you know anything about programming a video game? No, not really. Well, let me help you. Together, I know we can make this work. All right, so what is this? It's a video game of our own creation, and we wanted to know if we could sell it here. Well, I've got to test it out. Make sure this isn't some kind of phony scam game. Trust me, sir, there's no scam here. Bobby and I made this ourselves, and we think people will really like it a lot. Yeah, 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 we'll see. Well, the graphics look pretty cool. I think we should give this a shot. Really? Do you mean that? Someone out there will like this. You got some more copies? Yeah, we brought about 20 of them. They're in the car. I'll go get them right now. Oh, man. And this is awesome! Yo, man. Thanks for inviting me over. Yeah, of course. So what do you want to do? We want to take like ATVs for a ride. We want to go in the pool. No way. We got to talk about the new game that just came out. New game? I haven't heard about it. You haven't heard of the Odyssey? It's the coolest game out right now. I brought a copy. Come on, let's give it a try. Dude, <laughs> see, look. It's so sick. Yo, it looks pretty cool. Who made this? Hold on a second. No way. What? Who made it? I didn't even look. My stupid brother Bobby made this game game. I knew he was talking about it, but I didn't think he was serious. Whoa, your brother made this game? That's sick, dude. My dad finds out about this? He'll probably give Bobby millions of dollars to do this. That's not fair. At least with your brother making video games, you can have the family business. I'm gonna have the family business and make sure Bobby's video games fail. 
It's gotta be around town somewhere. Oh, there he is. You know, I really think we should start looking into a sequel game. I was thinking about that right after the game launched. Yo, hey guys. Hey, Bobby. Oh, what's up, Ben? What are you doing here? I was looking for you. I heard you guys made a really awesome game. Yeah, I mean, that's what everyone's saying. Well, I want in. No, there's there's no way. Why, why not? I mean, you don't know anything about making a video game. Yeah, but I play them. That is not the same thing. Why should we let you be a part of it? Last time I checked, you wanted to run the family business. Yeah, but I'm over it. And Dad's lame. You know what? We're making a second game, and if you want to help us, you can. I mean, we will need some video game testers, so I can just play video games and you guys will pay me? Yeah, that's right. Definitely, I'm in, and you're not gonna regret this. I'll test the game and make sure that it's, like, so good. Well, maybe this could be the new family business. Can't believe we made our second video game. Dude, and you know our first game has already sold over a million copies. Well, this sequel will produce twice as many sales. I know it. So much for your dad saying there's no money in video games. Maybe this will finally get him off my back about running the family business. Well, we've got a meeting with that game store manager tomorrow. Make sure you get plenty of rest, okay? We need to both be at our best. Yeah, of course. So you get some sleep too. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Where is it? I know he keeps it around here. Oh, such an idiot. The game is all scratched up. And it's probably not gonna play so well, will it? <laughs> Let's see how many copies you sell now. Bobby, Ray, good to see you both. Todd, it's great to see you too. Have we got a new game for you? I've been excited to hear about it. Well, this is The Odyssey 2. It's a sequel to our first game. Oh, everyone was saying there was gonna be a sequel. You guys are really starting to make something special here. Yeah, I think so too. You wanna give it a shot? You brought it with you? Of course we did. Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah. Let me play, let me give it a try. Okay, is this some kind of joke? No, what are you talking about? Well, the game isn't even turning on. It's not even working. Uh oh, that's not not good. Come on, now where's the real game? That is the real game. How is it you guys have made an awesome game and then you give me this garbage? Oh, there must be something going on. Maybe something's wrong. Look, I don't have time for this. I'm a busy man running the busiest game store in the country. Come back to me when you've got a real game. Bobby, what happened in there? The disc was working fine the other day. Let me take a look at it. What happened to this thing? There's scratches all over it. No wonder it wasn't playable. Looks like someone put it through a wood chipper. I know somebody was behind this. Dad, can we get steaks from that fancy restaurant? Absolutely not. I'm in the mood for sushi tonight. Hey, Bobby, there you are. Look, we're ordering sushi. You want in? I'm not really hungry. I lost my appetite, actually. Lost your appetite? What's wrong? You actually look upset. Someone tried to sabotage my video game. You know what? It's okay, because I made a copy of it just in case. Copy? Oh, darn it. It was you. I knew it. It was me what? You're the one that destroyed the disc, so we couldn't play the game. Yeah, maybe so what I did. So what? Why did you do that? Because it's dad's fault. That's why. It's my fault that you broke your brother's video game. You just don't understand. You never pay attention to me. Bobby always gets whatever he wants. Ever since we were kids, you love him more than me. I don't have time for this. Always figure this out on your own. See what I mean? He doesn't care about me at all. Dude, how could you? I gave you a chance. Is this how you treat me? I'm sorry, okay? I've just been like freaking out. Dude, what's really going on? Just talk to me. I'm your brother. Everyone knows who Bobby Weston is, but no one cares about Ben Weston. And that's not true. Stop acting so spoiled for one second and try to find your own path instead of just what will make you popular or more money or whatever. You don't always have to do what dad wants either. And do me a favor. Don't ruin any more of my games, please. Promise I won't. I'm sorry. It's okay. Now, come on, let's actually get something to eat now. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone out here is waiting for the release of The Odyssey 2, created by the one and only Bobby Weston. Hey, Bobby, you gonna make any more video games after this? Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm not gonna stop anytime soon. That's excellent. We can't wait to see it. Wow, look at all this stuff. I told you, video games can make you money, and I told you that I was gonna make something of myself.